the pandemic that has taken the world by storm, the virus that has brought human life to a standstill, has not only healed the world but taught us lessons we should have learned long ago, taught us things we should have understood when the first signs set in. The creator of the universe has blessed us with everything. There is pure air for us to breathe. There is a system in place where the nature takes in our carbon dioxide and returns us the oxygen we need to survive. Water, one of the most essential elements of our everyday life, is in abundance on this blue planet. There is soil which has helped us build ourselves and our lives. What have we done to it now? What have we, the humans, for whom all was created? Why are we suffocating the earth for our selfish reasons? I am not saying the virus is good or justifying any of the negative effects it has had on human lives. The virus is dangerous. It is what we need to deal with on an urgent basis. We need to put it to a stop. As the virus has hit a pause button in our lives, we need to just stop, breathe and look around. So much of what was provided for us have we taken for granted. When humans stopped, the river dolphins appeared. When the humans stopped, the flamingos flocked. When the humans stopped, the nature discovered itself again. So I say, just stop, breathe and look around. The peaks are looking out through the clouds of pollution again. The animals, our friends, are free again. The air we breathe is free again. Humans are free again. When we look back to our lives a few months back, what do we see? Do we see ourselves happy? Do we see ourselves satisfied? We all were running in our own rat races, not giving ourselves two seconds to look up from our scrolling and take in what the world had to offer. We weren't letting our mouths have conversations, rather letting our fingers do all the talking. How detached were we from others just a couple of months back? How detached were we from ourselves? Without physically being in jail, how imprisoned were we from everything? So I say, thank you, Corona, for giving us time for ourselves, for giving us a break from the rat races that we were mindlessly running, not even knowing what we were actually running for. Thank you for making us all take a step back and letting us breathe. Thank you for letting the earth breathe. Thank you for letting us all have real conversations with our friends and family. Thank you for helping us reconnect. Thank you for giving us a much needed time out. And in the meantime, as we sit in our homes safe, the earth restores itself to its former glory.